guys, back in the doghouse today. Uh, worked a little bit out here in the weekend, but not really enough to uh, do any videoing. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I did some painting on the weekend, just a one coat thing, just to cover up uh, some bare metal. And I got a base coat on the uh, cap, the uh, front clip. And uh, I'll show you what I did do even though it was a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to clean up here, and then I'll show you what I'll, uh, I'll go to do today. But anyway, hang tight guys, something's going to happen today. Okay, this is what I did on the weekend. I shot some flat black on the front clip. This is just over top of my metal patching. I didn't... Uh, I didn't do any bondo filling in the uh, in the grooves and this sort of stuff. I didn't do any sanding of the metal. Just nothing. I just I just wanted to get one coat of paint on there, just to see what it was going to look like, and to protect the metal from rusting. Uh, you can see a little bit of a gloss, but that's because the the, the lights are directly over top of, of this part here. But you can see in in here. Well, maybe I'll show you over here. This is a better view over here. There's less light here. And see that's pretty that's pretty flat and that's what I was going for and of course I go gloss in the fen inside the fenders uh, this, these here is, is part of the grill I'll work on these today there's little there's little dings here and there I'm gonna work them out and then I'm going to uh, paint these when you do body work, you got this nice little hammer here, but that's for the new cars. On these older vehicles, you use this hammer. You don't use a body hammer, hell no. You use a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer and then the black There we go. Get these in here warmed up by the furnace. Give them a shot of paint. Primer, something. Give them some color. Okay guys, I want to try a little experiment here. I've got these two sections to paint. I've got these two here. Different I grew up, remember? I'm going to paint one just the flat black. Of course, it's going to be thinned out. And then I'm going to paint the other one with a bit of hardener in it to see if this paint here will create a shine with the hardener in it. So I'd really like to paint with hardener just to give a little bit of durability. But anyway, I want to try that out. Show you what I do, and, and you have an idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to trim flat paint. I'm just using a soup can here. <clears throat> now, this soup can is really cleaned out. The reason I'm using a soup can is because I'm only making up little batches. I have five parts of paint. One part bigger. I was told a long, long time ago that if you don't have a viscosity cup to measure your paint thickness or thinness, whatever you want to call it, after stirring your paint and your reducer, pull your stick out and if you can get between 10 and 13 grips after you finish the stream, then you're in the ballpark. So anyway, I'm going to pour out. There's my stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we're struggling for the fourteen and the fifteen. So anyway, I got thirteen, thirteen grips. 
I don't care what I'm painting, I always put it through the strainer. Whether it be just a little weak job or a, a big job. Nothing worse than having paint and you're not, not straining it and get a little piece of dirt in your in your nozzle. And then you got to tear everything apart, clean it, just because you didn't want to use a, a filter, a strainer, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, I've got my air turned down to 25. This one here I'm going to paint just with the paint and the reducer. Okay, this one here is done one coat. So now I'm going to take my paint that I have left in my gun, put it back in my can. And again, Rocker Pat showed me this here about the little screw in here, that way your hardener never gets hard right from the top. I would say I put in one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Good. So anyway guys, I, uh, I'll bring you back in a couple minutes when this year dries and in the meantime I'm going to go have myself a course like. Hey guys, done for the day. Um, I'll just show you what I've done and that's it. Hope you, uh, hope you like it. If you like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Okay, first of all, these are the two pieces that I painted. Very exact same flat black paint, except this one here, I put hardener in it. And look at how shiny it is. It's more of a matte than a flat. But Ron from Ron's Garage might be interested in this here because he was thinking about putting ghost flames on his ride and his ride is flat black. I'm pretty sure it's flat black. So if he wanted to, and which I'm going to I'm going to do for him. I'm going to I'm going to put some on my truck, some flames, and I'm going to use this here because this here is going to be the color of my truck or the whatever you call it, not the color but the the sheen. This is going to be the sheen of my truck, which is basically none. Now you can see a lot of imperfections, sort of stuff. That's this is only one quick coat. Besides, I think that's a fingerprint. Um, so is this here. But I'm going to uh, paint my door and my fender this color here, or this sheen here. Then I'm going to do some flames in this color here, or this sheen here, just for Ron over in Ron's garage. Go check him out anyway. Uh, he's, he's got a nice little ride going on. Uh, that's Ron's garage. Okay, anyway. guys, that's it for today. I'll come back with tomorrow and I'll do whatever. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Anyway, uh, thanks for dropping by. And if you like it, that's great. If you didn't like it? Oh, well, I tried. It's only entertainment, guys. So anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Have fun. Keep on ranching. Talk to you later.